There is no doubt that today's cordless tools make our work easier and save time on task. DeWalt just released the DCS334XR jigsaw. I tried to say that without a Boston accent. It's a D-handled saw and it's soon to be followed by a barrel grip in 2019, January 2019. For those of you that are wondering what XR stands for, it means extended runtime. And that's basically, it's been designed to deliver advanced electronics, extended runtime, faster application speeds, all for extreme performance. So we've had some time on this D-handled saw on our job site, and I've got some great information and feedback for you on it. First of all, DeWalt redesigned this newer model. It is smaller, it is lighter, it's 4.6 pounds, it's faster, and it has a lower motor position and an improved blade clamp, and I'll get into this. As far as the blade clamp goes, the older model was designed to accept U-shank and T-shank. I had that saw for a while, I liked it. The problem with it was that it did not hold the U-shank blades well, and it caused user frustration. U-shape blades, in my opinion, they tend to wobble, uh, they flex more, they produce uh, more tear out than T-shank blades. The new XR blade has a much more reliable, durable blade clamp. And DeWalt reworked the entire mechanism that actually reduced the number of parts in it. And the result is a well-designed, super secure blade cl clamp. Um, and it has a better designed release lever as well. It does not eject the blade, so don't expect it to do that. Um, another new thing on the SAR is it has a variable speed dial uh, and increased strokes per minute. There's a dial adjustment on top panel as well as a variable speed trigger and it controls the saw from 0 to 3200 strokes per minute. The, uh, the blade stroke was increased over the older saw which only offered 300 strokes per minute. Um, it does have a variable speed trigger on the saw but the dial really lets you set and forget, right? So you set that speed, you pull the trigger the whole way, and you make the cut. The variable speed dial also has a ratchet-like clicking action. Click, click, click. Allow as you move it. And that's going to prevent it from actually accidentally moving when you slide your hand over the handle. And personally, having a variable speed dial, it results in freeing up your focus on the trigger, trying to dial in the variable speed on your trigger, and allowing you to fully focus on maneuvering the saw through the cut. The obvious win on this is that the saw is easier to operate and you get a more pre precise cut, obviously. Um, it was designed with a brushless motor and it operates quieter as well as the motor sits lower to the work surface, which gives you a better balance and control. The older model was taller and, and noisier. After using both saws, it's obvious to us that the new model is more powerful and clearly smoother to operate. Um, there, uh, Blade deflection, to minimize blade deflection and improve accuracy, DeWalt actually lowered the position of the saw bearing wheel retainer, which helps stiffen the blade. And if you look closely, it's lower than the older one. And the groove on the bearing wheel is deeper, so the blade actually indexes better and stays in between that. Um, I personally find when you're making cuts that if it, you can sum up a jigsaw by making a 45 degree bevel cut in plywood. If you can cut that bevel in a nice straight line without fighting the jigsaw, you've got a winning combination. So this particular XR jigsaw, no problem cutting 45 degree bevel um, over long length. So we tested it in uh, mahogany, pine, plywood, and maple. The saw cuts well in all of those materials and it tracked well. Um, we made straight cuts, 45 degree cuts, scroll cuts, and we checked for square and parallels. We did some moderate and aggressive stroll, uh, scroll cutting as well, I'm having trouble talking, um, and we did that in hard maple. On this test, we did notice some moderate deflection. Um, let's talk vibration. All jigsaws employ some sort of counterbalance system built in to reduce the up and down shaking created by the reciprocating plunger and blade. So if you think about that, DeWalt actually updated the saw's counterbalance system and it's noticeable. The older saw had a much longer scotch yoke reciprocation motion mechanism and that resulted in more vibration. A scotch yoke basically it converts a linear motion of a slider into a, a rotational motion which causes and results in that vertical blade movement. So less vibration is going to translate into um, more accuracy, you know, be able to just guide that blade right along. Let's talk about the blade change and the stroke a little bit. The front of the saw has an all-metal keyless lever-actuated 
blade change. And that screams quality craftsmanship and mechanical design in my book. Um, this jigsaw utilizes a T-shank blade system. And again, I've told you earlier that I, I prefer the T-shank blades. They have better blades, better quality. Um, it also features a one inch stroke, stroke length on the blade. There's a four position orbital action switch and that allows the jigsaw the versatility for cutting different types of materials. As far as beveling the saw, uh, all metal keyless shoe bevel has indents from zero to 45, uh, zero and 45, and it holds its position between those settings really well. Uh, new to the saw are two LED lights. They were added to the saw, and it's a trend that we're seeing in more and more cordless tools, right? I mean, it, it is what it is. LEDs are cheap, they draw a little power, they illuminate the work surface, surface they enhance user experience, and that's gonna be enhanced through safety and quality of cut. Um, these particular LEDs, they did a great job at illuminating the line of cut, and I thought they worked well. The old model had a dust blower switch, flip switch, that you could turn on and off. This model does not. Um, on the older model, user experience found that most folks didn't have a clue what the switch was for and didn't use it. The, the XR model has an integrated dust blower, and it operates all the time. You cannot control it. Can't turn it on, can't turn it off. Basically reduces confusion. Um, we found the blower to work okay, not great. Um, dust collection. Currently there is no dust collection on the US version of this XR saw. The model in Europe does have an option for that and you will see a dust port option that slides under the shoot plate coming in 2019. Uh, as far as improvements on the saw, I did not like the anti-splinter insert, the plastic uh, insert. I challenged DeWalt to find a better way to do it. It's flimsy, it's plastic, it never works right. Um, I don't know, it work, I, it's supposed to reduce tear out and, and every time we used it, it fell out and it just caused aggravation. The dust blower could be more aggressive. Um, I found that I still would blow dust off my line. Um, look, this saw is gonna be available right now and it comes kitted or a bare tool kitted. It comes with a five amp hour battery, charger, toolbox for $329. Bare tool is gonna be 179. And I know that's gonna change, obviously, because of this video, but that's what the price are now. The barrel grip is gonna come out in January, 2019, sold as a bare tool for 199. Uh, look, to conclude, power tools get abused day in, day out. You know, yet we expect them to continue to perform like champs, like the day we bought them, right? In a day when more and more plastic is put on tools in the industry, I was really impressed with DeWalt's heavy-duty metal parts and features. Uh, overall, this is a really impressive tool. It was thoughtfully put together and the improvements were great. Um, compact, powerful, easy to use jigsaw. What more do you need? I'm Rob Robillard. We'll see you at the next review. And please consider subscribing to this uh, video channel below. And if you'd like more information on this SAR or other DeWalt products, check out our webpage, toolboxbuzz.com. Take care.